Hi, I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we are going to be talking about cross-directional filtering. Now, this is something that uh, you need to be considerate of, uh, especially when you do a specific analysis across different dimension tables inside of your model. So we're going to talk about use cases for this. Um, this is not one of those things that you just want to generally turn on all the time. This is very use case specific and when you would need to turn on cross-directional filtering. So let's go ahead and take a look at Power BI at my data model and then we'll see what the problem is. So here inside my data model, I have my central fact table, internet sales, and then on these outside, I have my dimension table, sales territory, product, customer, and I have two date tables just representing one off the ship date and one built off of the order date. So uh, multiple relationships there, but they're both active. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how many customers ordered a specific product. So if we go over here to our report view, and we're just going to create a basic table here. This is a common question that you would probably ask. Okay, which product is selling the most? So we would bring in something like uh, the product name. So we'll go to our product table and we'll find our product name here. All right, and then we want to see how, how many customers ordered this particular product. So what we would do is we would go to our customer table and we're just going to count the names. And so I'm going to bring in the first name here and I'm just going to do a count on that, clicking the drop down, and I'm going to choose to do a count. So it's going to count all the name for each of the products. And so what we see here is that we actually have this indication of a relationship issue. Anytime you see a repeated value over and over again, this is an indication that there is something wrong with the relationship. And so whether that's the relationship isn't created or that the relationship just isn't able to filter the data, um, this is a common issue that you will come across. And so Let's take a look at our back at our modeling view. And what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom, you can add a new layout page. And so I'm just going to create a new layout page to kind of isolate the tables that I want to look at. This is especially helpful when you have multiple fact tables and, you know, 50, 60, maybe even over 100 different dimension tables. So I'm just going to bring in the two tables that I'm concerned with product and I'm going to bring in my customer table. So those are the two tables that I pulled from for my visual. As you can see, there is no relationship between the two. So because there is no relationship, no filtering is being allowed to get through over to the customer table. So if we bring in our internet sales table, which is kind of the bridge between the two, we can see that there are relationships between our dimension table customer and product uh, with our fact table internet sales. But the issue is the filter direction. Notice right here, the arrow is pointing towards the fact table, meaning that this can only filter in one direction. Now this causes a problem. So as we're looking at our product, right, we have our product name over here. And then we want to count how many customers had each product. So the issue is that when product goes to filter internet sales, it can, because of this directional relationship, okay, it can filter internet sales, but when it goes to filter the customer table, it can't because this filter direction is only in the one direction. So to fix that, we have to change this filter direction to filter bidirectionally or cross-directional filtering. So we're going to go ahead and click on the relationship. And we're going to turn the cross-filter direction from single to both. And we're going to click OK. And so what this does is it now changes the filter direction. You can see that 
this can now flow in both directions. So now as the product table goes to filter down the customer table, it can because the filter direction now allows it to. So as we go back to our visual, you're going to notice that it is now fixed. Okay, so this is a common issue that occurs, especially when you're trying to pull from two different dimension tables. So anytime you see that repeated value over and over again, it is an indicator of a relationship issue. So you just want to go check out your um, relationship and think about what is the filter direction as it travels from table to table is it able to follow the path and so this arrow is key in determining whether or not it can filter single direction or bi-directionally so just remember this is a real use case scenario you're not going to turn on bi-directional filtering for all of your tables this is going to cause issues you especially don't want to turn on this cross-directional filtering uh, for your date table because if you're using time intelligence functions and you filter your date table it is going to cause them to break in the visuals that they're used in so just be aware of that so cross-directional filtering awesome for this use case, but it's not something that you want to turn on all the time. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our page to get more content. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.